Hello and welcome to another Fundamental Investing through the use of Python programming. In this tutorial we're going to be putting everything together now and finally incorporating where we just were uh, with Quandle and stock price with uh, our screener now. So the first thing that we, or what we're going to do basically uh, before we do it, instead of asking us, like right now we've got while true, raw input, what stock do we want to apply, and then whatever we typed in that's what was shown. Now what we want to do is actually make it so whatever the screener picks, it will show, and only if that's what we want it. Because sometimes, you know, you might want to run the screener without, um, and just to generate a new array or list, um, <clears throat> and you actually don't want to chart everything. So that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and work that in there as well. So what we want to do is come to our uh, screener, the screening program that we made that all it did was screen stocks. Um, and the first thing that I'm going to do is at least take just even better. We'll just take this one array. You can take all the arrays that you want, but I'm just going to take that array, copy, and I'm just going to replace this, first of all, each stock array. Um, so that's the first thing that we want to do. And now, because so what this will, what we'll do is we'll loop through this, looking through the Yahoo key stats and find any that are, are, are exceptional companies. Now, uh, the next thing that we want to do is really, I would say that's about, that's about all we need to do. What we're going to want to do now is, is scroll down slightly into the actual screening element and we'll take this and we'll actually put this uh, down below. Um, but first we'll take this define Yahoo key stats and we really need to take this all the way really to this point here. So I would copy that and come over here and below all of our other functions come down and we're gonna paste this function and it looks like we have a try so we better uh, close this with an exception. Failed in the screener, I guess. That's what we'll say. And instead of this being Yahoo Key Stats, let's actually just call this screener stock. And then what we're going to do is basically, if yes, then what do we want to do? Well, if the answer to that question is yes, then we would like to graph data. So, uh, we'll come down here and we'll just take this right here cut that if show charts equals yes I would say try and accept here as well e print failed to graph string e and then we'll come here and we'll try to do graph data stock now we need to throw in uh, this uh, functionality there and so if we go back to our screener that we made, we did make that functionality um, right at the top here. So if show, or show charts equals raw input, blah, 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 blah. So copy that and we'll come down here. And before we do anything else, we'll ask that question. And now instead we, we should, we'll just delete this and the, the, loop that we're going to run run now is for each stock in uh, even better and that even better array we'll run screener and then each stock and I believe that should be everything there might be something we're missing here uh, let's go look at that screener one last time if 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 if, if, if it meets all those requirements uh, if Okay, so that should be, uh, do everything that we needed to do. So let's go ahead and run it. First question, would you like to show the financial data quantile charts? Why, of course. Run it, AFAM, wants to pull up AFAM. Sure enough, pulls up AFAM for the first uh, stock that met their, our prerequisites. So here is that stock, and you can see the price, obviously, the volume, RSI, the net income, the revenue, and if I move this over, return on capital, cool. So we'll close that one. Didn't like it. Um, 
wasn't perfect for our, our tastes. Now we got this uh, ACOS here, and this one, uh, quite the nasty drop there from 45 all the way down to really under 5. That's quite, quite nasty. Quite the rough drop there for them. Um, and we can see their financials here, uh, at least all the data that we have on them. And uh, this brings up the point where I'm not positive that I would really want to cut uh, this data away because sometimes it's good to see like where you came from so the more data the merrier anyways and if you wanted to you know look at purely your data you could always zoom it in um, so you know clear, clear that out it's going to continue looking through stocks um, waiting now we've got Annaly or NLY here and we've got some more data on it and really of all the ones so far it looks like uh, more like a NLY is, is the best buy so far. That's not financial advice, by the way. Don't invest because I said that. Anyway, um, so anyways, you get the point. It, it's screening the stocks, and when it finds a stock that uh, we're interested in, it will uh, chart it for us. Don't mind all that red. I uh, just canceled it. It was started to give me a 404 because I'm not using my uh, my auth token. So anyway, so that's that's that. So you could run this against uh, even the Russell 3000, and you could get new new companies that meet the requirements. You graph it up, get the price, all that stuff. So a pretty powerful app that now at this point, if you made it all the way through, you've made it completely yourself. Um, so it's completely customizable by you. And so I I think it's a pretty useful app to run through to uh, decide on companies that you want to go long in. So um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I might throw in another video to show you guys how to trim that uh, data because it's not as easy as it was to trim the data for the uh, other variables. Um, but I'm just not sure how many people are even going to want to trim that because I don't think you'd want to trim that data. You kind of want that historical data. But uh, anyway, if enough people beg me, I'll, I'll probably upload that video too. So anyways, hopefully this series has been a helpful, t or helpful to you guys. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.